Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, allow me to welcome you to Bernie State's first annual Tom Awards Ceremony. Hello everyone, Lead Admin Ghosties here, thanking you for being a part of Bernie State and joining us for this very special occasion. Tonight we will be looking at an array of categories ranging from Best A Film to Best 20 Episodes, and even Best Meme. Filling in for the rest of administration, they are Super Bernie 64, Resident Muna, Val de Jean, Trident Master and Troll Extraordinaire, Prince Dari, the original techie in IRC chat room, Luna, our beloved Princess of the Night, new DCD, co-founder and streaming guru for Bernie State, and yours truly, Ghosties, original moderator and leading admin of the number one pony stream on the net. We've come a long way since the beginning, and it all comes to a head tonight. A full year has come and gone since our inaugural Bernie movie night, when new DCD's pick, Superman 4, was aired, and the rest, as they say, is history. We've had a lot of fun since then, and we've had pleasure in sharing a slew of movies with friends as we laugh, cry, and throw metaphorical tomatoes at downright terrible movies. It's been a wild ride, everyone, and I'm glad I got to see this site prosper, grow, and stay as long as it has. Without further ado, I welcome you all to Bernie State's one-year anniversary, so grab a bag of popcorn, find a good seat, and enjoy the show. My name is Slurry Moon, and I'll be your host for the best My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode of Season 1. You know, it's not every day a series garners this much following. Maybe it's a fantastic writing, or even the magnificent art direction. Each brony loves it all the same. From the villainy of Nightmare Moon, to the excitement of the Grand Galloping Gala, Season 1 started and ended strongly. And so, without further ado, our nominees for the best episode of Season 1 are... Winter wrap -up. Suited for success. I'll make you Sonic Rainbow. Sonic Boom and a Rainbow can happen all at once. The Cutie right Mark Chronicles. Here. You know where we can find a cannon at this hour? Party of One. Yes! As in this afternoon, this afternoon. And the yes. best yes. night yes. ever. Yes. And the winner of the best episode of Season 1 is... The one and only Party of One. This is the famous episode that featured our ever-depressing Pink Amina, along with amazing musical talents displayed all throughout the episode. The background music played during Pinky's Descent was spectacular. Written by Megan McCarthy, Party of One is the 25th episode of Season 1. In this episode, Pinkie Pie invites her friends to a party, but grows suspicious and investigates when none of her friends can attend. We learn that one should always expect the best from one's friends, and never assume the worst. Something to note is that this episode was also the sixth episode to appear in the We Heart Ponies fan favorite marathon in lead up to the Hearts and Hooves Day. So, congratulations, Party of One! You are our winner for the best episode of Season 1. Thanks to everyone who voted! Hello, hello! Saturn here, barely conscious from a sugar filled coding bender, to bring you the Tom Award for Best B Movie. These are the movies we show after the main feature, which may not have the budget, production values, popularity, or sanity of an A movie, but certainly have the pizzazz, the je ne sais quoi, or very least, the brain surgery to make up for it. Our nominations are Spaceball. How many assholes we got on this ship, anyhow? Go! The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Dawn of the Dead. What are you just shooting, man? It's man. Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter. And... Look, we came back from the study with a vet. Mr. Bonnet was on the floor, <laughs> pretending to be dead. And the winner is... Spaceballs. This 1987 Mel Brooks Sith take is as old as I am, and nearly as funny. You're up to the stars, featuring the murder of Miracle Day in a space Winnebago. This film obviously captured the hearts and kidneys of our astronomical audience. That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. There you have it. The best bee movie has been chosen. Our local bee expert, Nicholas Cage, had this to say on the matter. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Stay classy, Brony State, because you know I won't. Keep firing, assholes! Greetings. I'm the disembodied voice of Shizuka, and I'll be presenting the award for the best Brony State meme. 
the internet loves inside jokes, and Brony State is no exception. Over the past year, we've built up over 9,000 memes, and pass them on to new viewers all the time. But there can be only one, and so our nominees for the best Brony State meme are... Where was Gondor? When our enemies closed in around us. Where was... Leverage. We're really going to have leverage over them now. To two two. Railing. Railing in front of the door to my room. The, the, there was a ankle high railing. Shoo, 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 shoo. And oh, Nicholas Cage. Not the bears! Not the bears! Ah! And the award for the best Brony State meme goes to call upon the sea ponies everyone because we're in distress this spammable song comes from the pilot episode of the original my little pony tv series the song's cheery lyrics and addictive melody initially condemned it to be the new rick roll but after the friendship is magic fandom exploded the song rose to new levels of prominence and it's not uncommon for our viewers to shout the summoning ritual anytime water is seen on screen shooby doo Shoo Shooby Doo, we present Sea Ponies with the award for Best Brony State Meme. You can't stop signaling SOS now. Shooby Doo, Shoo Shooby Doo. Good evening, everybody. I'm Sexy Pretender, and I'll be the one posting the next award. This next award is something that's really near and dear to the fan base. We can all thank Daniel Ingram, William Anderson, and the rest of the sound crew for providing some of the most amazing music on TV at the moment. Fanbase loves it, new song comes out in an episode, 20 remixes the next day! I think that's pretty awesome. The nominees for the best song award are... Winter Wrap Up, Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Let's finish our holiday Just Art of the Dress, At the Gala, Becoming Popular, Smile, smile, smile. And this day, Aria. And the winner of Best Song goes to... This Day, Aria, featuring Britt McKillop and Kathleen Barr for the reprise. The song debuted in the season finale for season 2, A Canterlot Wedding, and it's notable for being the very first villain song in Friendship is Magic. Congratulations to this day, Aria, and thank you, Daniel Lingham, for all the great music during the show's span so far. I'm Saxy Pretender. Stay classy, Brony State. This day is going to be perfect. The kind of day of which I dreamed since I was small. Every pony will gather round. See, I look lovely in my gown. What they don't know is that I have fooled them all. This day was going to be perfect. The kind of day of which I dreamed since I was small. But instead of having cake with all my friends to celebrate my wedding bells, they may not bring for me at all. I could care less about the dress. I won't partake in any cake. Vows, well, I'll be lying when I say. Any kind of weather, I want us to be together. The truth is, I don't care for him at all. No, I do not love the groom in my heart. There is no room, but I still want him to be home. Must escape before it's too late. Find a way to save the day. Hope I'll be lying if I say.
our next category consists of some of the best episodes of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and we had a very difficult time bringing together the shortlist. From the chaotic release of Discord to the epic defeat of Chrysalis, Season 2 built upon the strengths of the first season and made it even better. And now, the nominees for best episode of Season 2 are... Lesson what? Zero... What is Luna ah, Eclipsed... The fun has been doubled. Sweet and Elite... My new favorite party guest. Secret Who of my excess... Parts of Am I Day. wearing a wedding veil? Yep. And a Candlelight Wedding. And the winner is... A Cantrelot Wedding. A Cantrelot Wedding was the 25th and 26th episodes of Season 2, written by Megan McCarthy, and featured the wedding of the year between Princess Cadence and Shining Armor, Twilight Sparkle's own brother. After Twilight begins to suspect everything may not be what it seems, she must find a way to convince the others that something is amiss. When she is unable to do so, she faces an enemy she never saw coming, and is left with an ally she never expected. Nanny Discord here to present the Best A Movie Award. At Bernie State, an A movie is defined as one that has a high budget, high gross. Whether the movie is actually good is arguable, but we've had our share of awesome hits. Today, we select the best of the best. The nominees for Best A Movie are... Airplane. Clear vector three, two, four. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, roger. What's our vector, Victor? Monty Python and the Holy yes, Grail. Look! Just a flesh wound. Hot Fuzz. You mothers. Blazing Saddles. The Iron Giant. And Saving Private Ryan. My wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to her. And the winner of Bernie State's Best A Movie is... Mighty Python and Holy Grail, directed by Terry Gilliam and Terry Jones, starring Graham Chapman, John Cleese, and Eric Idle. King Arthur and his knights embark on a low-budget search for the Grail, encountering many very silly obstacles, like nasty Frenchmen and the Knights of St. Nee. Yee! I'm Newton the Discord. My fellow bronies, this is Scoots Goodaloo. We've all had our laughs and giggles tonight, however, I must bring up a very serious subject. For over a year and a half, we've been kept awake late at night wondering who, out of the main six, is Best Pony. We spent hours arguing, shedding tears and blood, debating which pony deserves the coveted title of Best Pony. Some will laugh, and some will sit and cry, but you all have spoken. And the nominees for Best Pony are... Rainbow Dash Fluttershy Twilight Sparkle Applejack Pinkie Pie and Rarity And the award for Best Pony goes to... Twilight Sparkle. The element of magic can only be described as an adorable bookworm whom everyone loves. I mean, come on. Who can resist such an awesome personality, not to mention her adorableness? As a sucker for astronomy, Twilight is one of my favorite ponies. She uses her vast amounts of knowledge to solve any puzzle, fix any problem, and occasionally succumbs to her crazy side. Only twice. Twilight Sparkle lights a spark in everyone's hearts and truly deserves the title of Best Pony. From all of us here at Burning State, we like to say thanks for being with us for our first year. And stick around, because the show has just begun.